Uh, call it the uh, dueling emails, if you will, following what may be a common courtroom tactic, undermining credibility of a witness, in this case, Siobhan O'Connor. Just yesterday, Siobhan O'Connor stood across the street during her press conference and talked about working inside the Catholic Center while also discussing that difficult choice to pass along confidential information and agree to interviews on her critical perspective of the handling of the abuse complaints. I loved the bishop. And it's been that personal betrayal because that's really the right word. But that was the moment I realized how painful it was going to be. Now some diocese staffers apparently trying to cast a different image. Just before midnight, the diocese communications director, Kathy Spangler, released to the media what are said to be O'Connor's letters and emails to Bishop Malone with references to other diocesan officials and staffers. The diocese statement says, quote, her, O'Connor's, comments are plainly and embarrassingly contradictory. Well, they cited one email from August when O'Connor resigned as the bishop's executive secretary as saying she was the better for having known and worked with Bishop Malone and may the Lord richly bless him for what he was doing for the Lord and the church. Well, today I sought some clarification from the diocese on why these statements were released, but I was told the communications director was tied up and not available. Also no response to other messages to Spangler. Also today, Siobhan O'Connor, through her attorney, responded with her own email, stating that it is quite distressing to realize that the longest statement Bishop Malone has released so far is composed of my emails to him and my Catholic Center colleagues. This was never about me. This is about the survivors, our diocese, our community, and our church. And another attorney representing an alleged abuse victim says about the diocese statement, they intimidate you and the leakers or the whistleblowers are very fearful of coming forward. And it really is awful here that Bishop Malone has lowered himself to this level by issuing that press release. I also reached out today to attorney Terry Connors, who has represented the diocese. He said, in his opinion, this is not a story and would only add that the diocese may put out additional information, as they pointed out in the future, to further challenge O'Connor's account. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.